Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this this morning is having a good one. Me, I am awesome, cannot complain whatsoever. In fact, we're going to jump straight into the news. Our very first topic of the video is Jacob Zuma parts ways with attorneys. Ah yes, ladies and gentlemen, another delay in his corruption case is probably going to happen now. But yeah, according to the latest reports, the former president of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, will probably be able to postpone his arms deal related corruption case scheduled for the 17th of May to the 30th of June 2021 in the Peter Maritzburg High Court after his legal representative, Mabuza, attorneys officially withdrew from the case on Wednesday yesterday. Now in a letter, Eric Mabuza informed the court that his firm would hear hereby withdraw as the attorneys of record for accused number one. Now to give you guys a quick recap as to what this case is about, former president Jacob Zuma and French arms company tells face one count of racketeering, four counts of corruption and one count of money laundering. The former president also faces an additional 12 counts of fraud. So basically in summary, he's facing a lot of charges. But yeah, the charges relate to the alleged payments Jacob Zuma received from Tails through his financial advisor, Shabir Sheikh, who was convicted in 2005. Now, Zuma is actually accused of offering to use his political influence to protect the company from investigations into the arms deal and of trying to solicit a 500,000 rand annual bribe from the company. But getting back to the attorney stories, right now it is currently unclear why Jacob Zuma is parting ways with Mabuza attorneys. And do keep in mind that he appointed the firm about a year ago, almost to the day, replacing attorney Daniel Mantasha, who Jacob Zuma appointed in July of 2018 to replace another attorney. But yeah, the withdrawal of Mabuza attorneys will almost certainly lead to a postponement in Zuma's corruption case. And it does seem that Jacob Zuma is being accused of essentially challenging challenging every possible point and appealing every adverse outcome to delay the case against them. Honestly, it seems like at this rate, the case will only make it to court in like 2050. But then again, as long as I suppose it's legal to change your legal reps, he's not really doing anything wrong, is he? <laughs> Now before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor, if you are enjoying the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up, it does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic are Pelele and Itumele Nkune expecting. So KZ Chiefs goalkeeper Itumele Nkune and his wife Spelele are reportedly expecting twins and this news comes exclusively from Sunday World. Now the news that the couple are expecting was actually confirmed to Sunday World by a family member. The family member said the following, it is true Kune and Spelele will soon welcome new additions to the family. Both families are excited that their brood is growing. Now the couple that goes by the nickname the bears tied the knot in 2019 last year Kune and Spelele welcomed their first child. They shared the exciting news on social media with a picture of their baby girl, Amuhelang Zinande Kune. Now, the sources that are close to the couple also went on to confirm that Spelele is expecting twins and Kune is thrilled to be a daddy again. According to one of the sources, the Kunes are expecting boys, although it might not have been officially confirmed as of yet. This is what the source said. Kune is happy that his family is expanding. He is over the moon. Now, according to another source, Spelele is is in her third trimester and has even stopped posting on Instagram to avoid the media. The source said she was advised to keep a low profile to protect herself from negativity and haters. Now do keep in mind that about last year around February, Spelele actually did take to social media and air her experiences of motherhood with an Instagram story question and answer with her fans. At the time, she indicated that she and Kune were open to having more children. At the time, she actually said she wants three children, so it looks like she's gonna get to three in just one shot. Now when it comes to direct comments from Itumele Kune and Spelele themselves, According to the articles, Pelele did not respond to the question.
questions in time of them going to print. The only comment that they got was from Itumele Nkune's sister who said that he could not comment as the matter was a private family matter. But yeah, if those family sources snitches are actually 100% correct, definitely congratulations to the Kunis. Our next topic, Babes Otumo and Mampincha to tie the knot this weekend. So Kom superstar Babes Otumo and her fiance Mampincha will celebrate their traditional wedding this weekend in Guazulu Natal. Now the news was confirmed to the papers by Babes Otumo's sister slash PR manager Nondumiso Simelane on Wednesday yesterday. This is what she said they are getting married on Sunday near Umshang. Now Nondumiso went on to say that the two families had been rushing around this week to make sure that everything was perfect for this weekend. She also added that Babes Otumo was over the moon. Now, Nondumiso said the following, Everyone is exhausted. It has been up and down. It's their traditional wedding, so you can imagine all the preparations that goes into such a big occasion. They will have a white wedding, but it is not this weekend. It may be in about two to three months from now. But yeah, Babes Otumo and Mampincha did get engaged last year in October, announcing the news with a video on social media of Mampincha going down on one knee with a ring in his hand. He is proposing. 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 He is But yeah, the wedding also does come around rumors that Babes Otumo is expecting their first child together. However, when it comes to the rumors of Babes Otumo being pregnant, that has not been officially confirmed or commented on by the couple. But getting back to the reports, it does say there that both wedding ceremonies will most likely be recorded for the couple's Showmax reality show, Utando Lotumo, which will be coming soon. There was a comment from multi-choice channel director of local entertainment that reads as follows, Babes Otumo and Mampincha's relationship has not been a fairy tale romance. They've had serious issues as a couple, yet have chosen to remain together. The show focuses on how they have overcome their challenges, working through them, with their families. Hey man, reality shows are definitely the thing right now here in South Africa. I got me some show max, I'll be waiting on that. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.